welcome to another edition of Get the Food Out of Here. Freddie Rubino here with my wife, Christine. Hey, everybody. Welcome back, everybody, after a long summer. We are making spaghetti carbonara. Very traditional, mostly in Rome. Roma. Roma. Or in Brooklyn, we say Rome. I think we add like a W. First, we do a pound of pasta. We use spaghetti, not bucatini. Because bucatini is stinky. I don't like it. I hate bucatini. It's my least favorite pasta. And this is made exclusively with bucatini. Right. Now, abagavuti. Anyway, now we have a half a pound of pancetta. I already cut it into strips. See these strips? Yes. Look. One, two, three. I should have cut this up before. Yes, that's what I told you. Right? Yeah, I said that. Okay. If you don't have pancetta, you could use bacon. Just don't use a flavored bacon. Yeah, don't use apple. Don't use uh, maple. But the traditional is guanciale. Okay. Guanciale? Guancali. Uncle Charlie. Okay. Charlie. It's I could have been somebody you should have been watching. Anyway, yeah. it's the, the cheek of the pig they make that out of, and that's what they use traditionally, but it's very hard to find here. Cheeky. You cheeky monkey. Okay. I'm doing it. Look, look, look. I'm doing it. Should have been done before. That's what I said. Okay, you see that fat in there? That's where all the flavor is. And you're going to add this to the dish. The fat. The pancetta. It's part, it's part of the sauce. It's part of the sauce is right. Okay. We only got a couple of pieces left. I'm going too fast, I believe. You're going to cut a finger cut myself, off. right? Well, then do what you got to do. Take, ratings? Take one for the team. No, no. I've been telling you to take one for the team for years. So far, the team ain't doing good. You know what I'm saying? Now, there are some parts of this that the traditional, all right, I'm gonna put this in a pan now. Warm, warm pan. You wanna render the fat. You don't render wanna- it, baby. You don't wanna cook it too fast because you wanna render the fat. Right. Because you need that oh, fat. Oh, look, look, I forgot one. Oh, good. Poor little, that's neither pig nor pork. It's beef. So there are parts of this recipe that are very hard, right, honey? Yes. I haven't said hard in a while. Anyway, I haven't either, believe me. Watch your mouth, I'm talking about a recipe. Okay, so, we're gonna fry this, and hopefully this fries in time. We're gonna put this a little lower. Keep stirring your pasta. Don't put oil in or anything like that. Just keep stirring. You'll be fine. Okay, so where is the other spoon? So, the pancetta <coughs> is in. And what you do with the pancetta is, you're, it's, you're frying it. And what you say, you're rendering it? You're rendering the fat, so the fat stays in the pan, and you could use it for the sauce. Right. And, and, and like we said, if you need to use bacon, mm -hmm. go ahead. And of course he salted that pasta water. I salted it like it was the Mediterranean. Okay, so we got this going. So what carbonara is? is egg yolk and cheese. Right. It's a very, pretty simple, but you can get in trouble. You can get in trouble. Okay, so now look, Freddie, what is the wet cloth doing here? So it doesn't stick, so it doesn't stick. Yeah, skin. so it doesn't stick. Skin, skin, skin. Skin, skin. Put your mouth. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to, for a pound of pasta, we are going to, um, use five egg yolks. Now that's not what the recipe is for, correct, Chris? Sometimes people put whole eggs in. I don't like it. I don't like it either, because that's where you get sick. Yes, you get an uncooked white. White, right? The yolks, no. So we do it with all yolks. But the yolks will still be cooked the in this recipe. Cooked. Look at that! Look! Look! That's really stupid. Yeah. That's and true. you fucked that one up. Watch your mouth. The, you gotta get. No, no, there's also a little bit. Oh in. my god. Now shut your mouth. 
Do it in your hand. Do it in my hand? Yes. Ooh, I like that. It's so I've much been practicing all my life for that. Yeah, Thanks, so too. Okay. I like that, it's honey. So much, it. It's so much easier. I didn't know. Now you tell me. We've been talking about this all day. What is that, three? Yeah. <clears throat> Make sure, look, when you do it by hand, you don't get the shell in. Four. And we're going to do five. Look at me. Look at that. Mm -hmm. What? What, stir it? What? Keep stirring your pasta. No. And the pancetta. Okay, the pancetta is rendering. The best part of this is there's a crispiness to it. Okay, I'm going to stir. I'm going to stir. We're going to get it done. That's rendering, I tell you. All right, I got to wipe my hands. Okay, now we're going to whisk it. It's going to make a nice little sauce. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, so you got to whisk it. You want to make it fluffy and creamy. Yes. Am I not correct? Yes. Okay. I want to stir this again. Now you see the grease coming off of that? We're using that. That's the flavor of the dish, right? You gotta lower that a little bit. Lower it? Yeah. Now you got to turn it off and start it yeah, again. Yeah. Such a weird oven. It's a weird oven. It's convection. It's I don't in in induction. 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 It's almost ready. It's almost ready. Put some pepper in that. In this? Yeah. Put a little pepper. Crack pepper. Not too much, because I don't care for it. I know, I know. You when, when the recipe is not to your liking, you change it. But otherwise, this is a half a cup. Of Romano cheese. Uh, of, uh, no. It's Romano cheese. I thought we were doing the other cheese. Holy... Mm. Again with the sailor? Okay, look, look. You could dump that whole thing in, Fred. I'm doing it. Look at the cheese. Now, if you think, if we look at this and it's not firming up, you can put more in. But I think that's a perfect sauce. Mm -hmm. Don't you? Yeah. Wow. Look at that sauce. Okay, now we take a cup of water out of... Pasta water, it's called. Pasta water. Out of there. Let me stir this again. Oh, that's being, that's crispy, honey. You don't sell the pancetta, you sell the sizzle. Mm. Okay, so the pancetta is coming along. I'm hoping it'll be done by the time this is done. But at least now the fat is coming out and we'll have uh, some juiciness. All right, now the heat of this. We pour it in slow, right? Yeah. Pour it in slow so you don't cook the eggs. Right. And, and, and beat it. And that's going to cook the eggs a little bit, and then when the hot pasta comes in, it'll cook it the rest of the way. Right. Now, what do you call this? Tempering. 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 Right, that's my wife. She's got some tempering. Okay. See how, that, see how that's making it more liquid? Mm-hmm. I think I had a little more. You think that's okay? I think that's enough. How that's much? Enough? So that was well, a that, half a cup. A half a cup is, is so enough. So I'll save that save, the pasta water? Yeah, save the pasta water for the end if you need a little more to make it a little more loose. Okay. I like a loose. I like a loose pasta. And you see how the color changed? It got lighter? Yes. Because yes. it cooked a bit. And because it's whipped. Now, bocatini is what it's usually made. It's bu bucatini. Bucatini. But let me just say one thing about bucatini. It sucks. It's thick. It's got the hole in the middle. Don't like it. As a man, I'm not digging the whole hole in the middle, long, skinny thing there. Okay. Now, with this, we get a nice rosé. Look how beautiful that goes. Very nice. This is where everybody screws up. 
with this sauce. There's two parts to it. This part, and then adding this to the pasta. So there's two tricks to it. Is your pasta done? Uh, I believe it might be done. It's slightly al dente. One more minute. That's all I need. We've missed you guys. We miss you guys so much. Now, like, could, should I show them the pancetta? Sure. You see how it's get, it's crispy now? And you see all that grease? Mm -hmm. I think we're done. Yes, that's done. So, we're going to put it on low. We're going to remove it from the heat. Don't be ashamed. You can say it, honey. That I told I, you a hundred times not to do what you were just going to yes, do? Yes, yes. So, it's still... Yeah. You're going to need a rubber spatula to scrape all of that grease out. What grease? That's in that pan into the bowl. Yeah, I got it right here. I am prepared. You bucatini. Oh, that girl's a real bucatini. Hey, I think you can get away with cursing without cursing by using bucatini. Okay? Okay. Pasta's ready. I'm ready. Should I put this in there first? Yes. And then the pasta? Yes. Okay. Where's the spatula, the rubber spatula? It's right here, baby doll. Okay, see that? Look at that. That is perfectly done. And the grease. You know what grease is? Fat. The word. Grease is the word. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's drain this. This got to be drained. Like your hopes and dreams, guys, after you got married. And drained. be, be uh, aware to save a little pasta water, which we did already. Okay, that's in. And now we stir it. Why don't you get the other wooden spoon and, like, toss it? And what? Toss it. Toss it? Tossing it. Nice. Okay, I can eat just like this. Look at that beauty. Mm -hmm. Okay, now... You're gonna need a little salt. We're gonna, all right, we'll add a little salt. But you know the cheese in it... You still need salt, brings out flavor. Brings out your sister. That's what salt does. Okay, now is, is the whole thing. Now you pour this in, slow. Correct, honey? Yes. While you're stirring it. Vigorously stirring. Not, Vigorously. Not let's play stirring. Right. Look like, at this. Look, look. Like you do. Are you showing them? I'm showing them. You got it? Yeah. Look at this. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Now, the heat from that pancetta and oil and pasta is further cooking the egg. Right. Don't just dump it all in. It'll cook some of the egg and not make that cream. Mm-hmm. Honey, home run, home run. Now, other people do it, they put this right in the pan, and some, that's how they get in trouble. Yeah, the heat from the pan makes the eggs coagulate. Coagulate? There's no, no need for that. <laughs> you coagulating. I'd like to coagulate you, honey. Okay, we're done. All right, plate it up, let's go. Easy now. All right, I'm gonna do, oh. Oh my God. Oh Where's my. the tongs? Where's the tongs? Look how many things. Look. Look at this. Look. Look how many things. When she had COVID, they fired three people at Williams Sonoma. They, they didn't need it. Very nice. I'm going to put a little, grab a pancetta. Oh. How easy was that? Mm -hmm. 14 minutes! Move what? The, move the bowl. People! Get the paper towels out of there. Oh, you want the shot? Oh, look at you. Well, you're back with a vengeance, honey. Yeah. Do you need any pasta water? No. Not, here, Not this maybe one. Maybe to add in there Maybe later. later. Oh, if yours just comes out a bit too dry, you add some. I'm going to add a little cracked pepper. Oh, you're ruining it I for like me. I like this. Your mouth shut. And some more. Romano cheese. Locatelli. Do you, read the side. Read the side right now. I know, but I like it with Locatelli. No, come over here. 
What? Read the side. I know it says Pecorino what? Romano. Exactly. But you can use Luca Locatelli. That's the brand, you dope. Hmm. Look at this. Come on. 14 minutes? Oh my God. Beautiful. It's heaven on earth. It's like you're in Rome. In fact, I learned to make this in Rome. Really? Rome, New York. Oh, okay. I've never been to Italy. But New York's got a nice place. Listen to me. No butter. No cream. No cream. No onion, no garlic. No onion, no garlic. This is perfect. One of my favorites. 20 minutes and done. If you live out in the boondocks and you get those eggs with the really dark yolks, even better. And don't forget, you could substitute bacon if you can't find the pancetta. Between the creaminess and then the crunchiness of the pancetta, this is your new favorite dish. This is our welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Don't forget to go to fredrubino.com, see where I'm playing live, October 2nd, Central Florida, Orlando, Utica, Chicago, Chicago, Connecticut. Chris, do you love them? I certainly do. I love you guys. Share this. And thank you for all the well wishes when we were sick. Thank you so much. This will cure COVID, I'm sure. <laughs>